So, uh, since we are grounding today, let's start in a, in child's pose and with your knees quite open, see, measure um, so that the knees are open as wide as your mat and then stretch the arms forward. Make sure that your um, buttocks are as close to your heels as possible. Stretch the arms forwards and allow the head to rest between them. So allow the forehead to touch the floor. Then let go of the body, the tension, and allow the ground, the earth, to receive your weight. Relax your hands and wrists. The elbows should be touching the floor. Soften your shoulders, relax the chest. Relax the entire head. All of its weight should be supported by the ground. Relax the entire back of the body. the front of the body. Relax the belly. James, if you could just mute yourself, please. Relax your thighs, the knees, the feet. And simply allow the body to sink effortlessly into the mat. Feel the connection between your body and the earth, all those surfaces touching the mat. Your hands and your elbows, the forehead, the knees, the shins. Start to listen to your breath. Following your inhalations and exhalations. Inhaling. Feel the air expanding into your chest and your belly. And then exhaling, allowing the body to become a little more relaxed. Surrendering its weight into the earth. Again, inhaling, feel the expansion. Exhale, feel the softness, the release. Continue to inhale and exhale in a slow, smooth rhythm.
exhale, let go, relax even further into the ground. Feel the supporting quality of the earth. Feel the warmth. And take a few moments to repeat uh, the mantra. I'm safe. I'm grounded. I'm centered. And again, I'm safe. I'm grounded. I'm centered. Repeating the mantra quietly in your mind a few more times and continuing to breathe in and out. Allowing all tension to melt and relax into the floor. Allow all thoughts to pour down from your forehead into the earth. Emptying your mind. Let's take final three deep, long, smooth breaths here. Inhale into the belly and the chest. Expand, open. And exhale all the air out from the chest, pulling the belly in. And let go, relax. Maybe even make a sound. <sighs> Two more times. Deep, long, smooth inhale, expanding, energizing. And a long, complete exhale, relaxing, softening. One more breath. And exhale, let go. Slowly on your inhale, let's lift the head and look between your hands and then slowly come forward onto all fours and drop the hips down, lift the shins, lift the heart, look up. And then exhale, press the floor away, coming back to your child's pose and sync your movement with your breath. Let's do this three more times, slowly. Open the heart, shoulders. Exhale, moving back, stretching. Reconnecting with the ground. Two more times. Nice, enjoy the flow. Feel the support of the earth. Being continuously aware of all these parts of the body that are in contact with the mat. And 
then next time you are back in child's pose, slowly come up, inhale, and let's come to all fours. So, shoulders over your hands, and hips over your knees. Very good. Let's do a few rounds of cat and cow. So, you can start inhaling or exhaling, whichever one comes first. Slow moves. The breath is like a wave coming in, expanding, opening up. And exhaling, moving away from the shore, contracting. Inhaling energy in, openness, expansion. Exhaling, empty everything all the air out, contract the belly, push the floor. One more time. And exhale. Good. Let's meet in the neutral, neutral spine. On your next inhale, lift the right leg back. And then here, let's tuck the tail under, engage the core, and lift the opposite arm forwards. Stretch. Balance and breathe. Inhale. Fingers forwards, toes backwards, really long spine. Exhale, pull that belly in, contract, engage the core. One more time. And slowly exhale, bring the hand down. And here we're going to bring the knee into the chest, lean over to the left, cup your right fingers, step between your hands low lunge good let's take a few breaths here roll the shoulders back lengthen the spine sit into your left hip good and now push the floor away with your foot and your knee engaging the core lift the arms up and exhale, circle them behind you. Let's grab the um, hands interlacing the fingers or use your strap. Inhale, open the chest, maybe lean back into the gentle back bend. Keep your core engaged, your tailbone tucked. Good, one more breath. And then slowly exhale, release, come forwards. On your next inhale, push your hips back. And try and straighten your right leg. But it's not important that the leg is straight. More important is that the back is straight. So you can bend that knee, flex the foot, roll the shoulders back. Yes, very good. Inhale, feel that expansion. Exhale, let go, release into your muscles. Maybe you can come a little deeper into the stretch. Final breath. Exhale. Inhale, coming forward. Let's leave the left hand next to your right foot and open the right arm up towards the sky. So very important, left hand down, right foot down. Because I cannot see the entire body, some of you, make sure you're in a twist. Open the right side of the chest and see if you can swivel the chest open towards the sky. Really try and open across the chest, the shoulders, feel, that breath coming into the chest, expand. Exhale, pull the belly in. If you can, twist a little more. And on your next.
next exhale. Let's bring the hand down. And then from here, you're going to bring that foot back into all fours. Okay. I need to take this off. Too hot by the radiator. So let's repeat on the other side. From here, leaning a little to the right, bring your left knee up, then cup your left fingers and step your left leg forward. Good. Drop into your right hip. Feel into that right side, opening up and try and soften it with every breath you take. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, shoulders back. A couple more breaths here. Good. On your next inhale, you're going to push the foot and the knee to the floor. Bring the arms up above the head. Lengthen both sides of the waist. Tuck the tail under. And when you exhale, circle the arms back. Interlace the hands. Now the other pinky on top. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Lift the arms away from the body. Breathe. Maybe back bend, maybe look up. Or if it's uncomfortable, keep looking forward. Good. Final breath. And release the hands, frame the front foot. Shifting your hips back, straighten your left leg. Or you can keep it gently bent, but make sure your back is long. And breathe into the back of that leg. Keep breathing, expanding into the chest, the belly. Exhale completely, all the air out, pull that belly in. One more breath. come forward placing the right hand next to your left foot opening the left arm up swivel the chest open towards the sky open across the chest the shoulders and continue to breathe one more breath And then exhale, framing the front foot. And from here, let's tuck the back toe under. Lift the back knee off the floor. And step your back leg forwards. Open your feet, hip distance. Allow the body to drop down the head, the neck. Grab the opposite elbows. And then let's gently Swing left and right, up and down. Continue to breathe. On the next exhale, let's release the arms down. On your next exhale, pull the belly strongly in. Engage your core and on your inhale, keep the core engaged, bend the knees and come up slowly, all the way up, roll the shoulders back, good, let's just take a few more shoulder rolls back, and forwards, Good. Now let's do a few rolls with the neck in one direction. And in the other. And then 
coming back to center. So you keep facing the top of your mat. I'm just turning so you can see me. Your feet should be hip distance apart. And I want you to really uh, press the four edges of your foot into the ground. So the, the base of your big toe, the little toe, and the two corners of your heel and lift the arches of your feet as if you're trying to draw energy from the ground. Lift your kneecaps, engage your thighs, tailbone down, belly in. Let's roll the shoulders back and down one more time. Keep them open, palms facing forwards. Good, mountain pose. Maybe closing the eyes for just a few more moments, feeling the strength the stability of the pose, feeling the support of the earth, reconnect to your breath, slow, deep, smooth inhales and exhales. And slowly let's prepare for standing flow so feet can either be hip distance or together and let's place the hands in front of the heart good let's sit back in this imaginary chair sweeping the arms back down and up stretch keep the chest open sit a little lower take another inhale here and on your exhale, fall forwards. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen the spine, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, step, walk or jump back into plank. Inhale, long, long spine, shoulders back. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra, looping the shoulders back, open the throat. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Stretch the body, adjust your pose, walk the dog if you need to. Make sure you follow the alignment, hands, elbows, shoulders in one line, hips, ankles in one line. Take a deep inhale, expand into the belly and the chest. And take a full, complete exhale. Chin into the chest, look towards your belly button. One more like this. Inhale. Feel the grounding coming from your hands and your feet. Exhale, pull the belly in. Good. On your next inhale, come on your toes, lifting your hips as high as you can. On your next inhale, look between your hands, lift the right knee and step the foot through. Exhale and place the entire back foot on the ground so that your back arch and your front heel are in one line and then stretch the left arm, stretch it to the right, and then open the chest, keep that front knee bent, keep it over your ankle, and come to your warrior pose, warrior two. Again, feeling the connection with the ground, arches of your feet lifting. If you lift your toes, this will help you to engage the arches. Sit a little lower. Feel the expansion into the chest, all the way to your fingertips. Good, one more breath. And inhale, let's reverse the warrior. So, you can either keep your arm on your back leg or bring it around the back, grabbing the opposite thigh. Swivel the chest open, lengthen 
sit a little lower and let's exhale straighten the front leg <clears throat> and now pull the body towards the right as if you're reaching for for something that you really really want and then once you cannot move further then drop the right hand down and open the left shoulder so the arm can be up in the air or it can be behind your um, back if you want to work on opening the shoulder keep breathing beautiful two more breaths tuck your right hip under and maybe come a little bit higher just for the last breath engage your core and on your next exhale let's bring both hands down frame the front foot and move your back foot closer but again place the entire foot on the ground also you should be on rail tracks not one foot behind the other good let's prepare for pyramid pose first by rolling your right hip back left hip forwards inhale lengthen lengthen coming halfway up and then exhale release the body over the front leg now here option to work on your arms and shoulders if you want interlace the hands or if you want reverse prayer behind the back three more breaths wherever you are try to keep the chest open the shoulders open shoulder blades moving towards one another one more breath and then slowly release release both arms now from here you're going to step the back leg further back come through a low lunge and into a plank pose and let's move through a vinyasa inhale back bend and exhale downward facing dog good let's take a couple of breaths here Great, stretching the body. Feel the connection between the earth, feet, and your hands. Lifting the arches of your feet, lifting the palms of your hands. And on your next inhale, come on your toes as high as you can, lifting your hips. And then exhale, bend the left knee, come forwards, step the foot between your hands back heel on the ground check that the heel and the back arch are in one line stretch the right arm diagonally start opening the chest bend the front knee so it's over your ankle raise up warrior two open across the chest lift your toes to engage your arches Feel the connection with the earth. Feel steady, strong, open, confident. One more breath. And on your next inhale, sweep the left arm up, right hand either on your back leg or behind your back. Press the left arm, open the chest, sink into the front leg. Deep long breath into the belly, into the chest. Exhale, pulling that belly in. And on your next inhale, slowly straighten the front leg and now lean towards the right. Reaching, reaching, reaching forwards. Once you reach your maximum, left hand in front of your shin or on the floor right arm opening touching the sky 
Take your left hip under. Lengthen the bottom waist. Lengthen the top waist. Bring the shoulder blades together. Engage your core for the last breath. Lift a little higher. And exhale. Gently bend the front knee so you can frame it. Now you need to step your back foot a bit forward and a bit to the right to prepare for pyramid. Inhale, let's come halfway up. Lengthen, roll the shoulders back. Yes, grab your blocks if you need them. Left hip rolling back, right hip rolling forward. And on your next exhale, release the body over the front leg. Choose the option with your arms. You can keep them down or interlace them or even grab the opposite elbows or do the reverse prayer. Remember to keep those arches lifted. Pressing firmly into the bowls of your feet, the heels, and then slowly release the arms down. Gently bend the front leg and step the back leg next to it. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, all the way down. Release the top of the hip. Next inhale, sit in that imaginary chair. Sweep the arms up next to your ears. Open the chest. And exhale. Slowly come up. Hands in front of the chest. And exhale, release the arms coming back to your mountain pose. Close the eyes. And take a few moments to listen to your breath. energy from the earth, nourishing, supporting, feel your own strength, and the deep connection with the ground. Slowly let's open the eyes. We are going to explore this strong connection with the earth by going into a balance. So make sure again that your arches are lifted, pressing the balls of your feet. Feel the energy coming up your left leg and then slowly bring the right leg in towards the chest. Let's grab the knee and press it gently towards your spine. Keep your torso straight, so your shoulders level. I don't know how much of me you can see. <laughs> there is not much room here. And then from here, slowly, we're going to bring the knee to the side. And with the help of the hand, place the foot against your thigh or against your calf, but not against the knee. Now let's stay here first and square the hips. So if you find your hip bones, and then you, you place your index fingers next to your hip bones, they both should be pointing forwards, not sideways, not one back, the other one four, fourth. At the same time, try and keep that knee open to the side. And then press the thigh against the foot, the foot against the thigh. Lift, pelvic floor engaged, core engaged. And then slowly, when you've got your focus, palms in front of the heart, when you've got your balance, 
branches up in the air. Shoulders down. Face relaxed. Feeling safe and grounded and stable. It may be not today. Keep breathing. Final couple of breaths. slowly going back the same way we came to the pose prayer in front of the heart let's take a moment lift the heart against your thumbs lengthen the spine relax the elbows and then slowly relax the right leg down shake well done okay now again starting from mountain pose both arches engaged. Lift the kneecaps, engage your thighs, transfer the weight this time onto your right leg. Lifting the left knee into the chest, grabbing the knee in, roll the shoulders back and down. Good, the body square to the front. Pull that knee in, pull the belly in. And then slowly, Open the knee to the side, bringing your foot either to the calf or to your thigh. Find your hip bones, square the hips. Open the left knee to the back. Lengthen both sides of the waist. Engage your pelvic floor, the core. Keep lifting the arch of your right foot. Find a point of focus slightly in front of you and continue to breathe while you grow your branches relax your hands relax your shoulders relax your face foot and thigh working in opposition This is what gives the integrity of the pose together with your arch, foot arch lifting, energizing the entire body, bringing those nutrients, water, everything that's needed for the life of that tree. And then the same way we came into the pose, we're coming out. Bring that prayer to the heart. Lift the heart towards the prayer. Open the shoulders. And with control, release. Good. Let's shake out. And let's move into a wide-legged stance. Your toes slightly in, heels slightly out. Lifting the arms. Your ankle should be approximately under your wrists and then let's exhale bring the hands onto your waist squeeze the elbows together squeeze the shoulder blades together engage the core and then slowly release the body forward release the neck the top of the head but continue squeezing the elbows together moving the shoulder blades towards one another Shoulders back and away from your ears. Transfer the weight a bit more forward so it's equally spread between your toes and heels, between the inner and the outer edges of your feet. Good. On your next exhale, release the arms down and come halfway. Now place the left hand in the middle, just under your face, and open the right arm. Stack the right shoulder over the left. Look towards the top arm. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist a little more. And maybe for those of you who can reach 
the opposite ankle with the hand. Do that. Bend the elbow and see how deep you can go. No forcing, no pushing, no wanting. Just stay with the body. Honor it, respect it. Final breath. And then exhale, let's come back to the middle, both hands down. And this time the right hand comes in the middle, left hand opens, left shoulder stacks over. And if you can, turn to look towards the top hand. And then from here, if you want to explore a deeper stretch, grab the opposite ankle, and keep opening the chest though. Maybe you can start bending the right elbow towards the ground for a deeper stretch. Lovely. One more breath. And slowly release. Now come halfway up again. Move your feet towards one another and keep them a little wider than your hips. Toes pointing out to 45 degrees. Let's come to a yogic squat. Hands in prayer, lift the heart. Roll the shoulders back. So, very often when we feel grounded, usually to do with uh, inactive root chakra or blocked root chakra. So this is a great pose to connect to your root. Just take a moment to bring that image of this ruby red light at the base of your spine. Circling slowly. Spreading its light outwards. Vibrating with a slow, earthly frequency. Slowing the mind down, bringing the mind actually bringing the mind into the body rather than that incessant stream of thoughts. And final breath here. Let's release the hand and come into all fours. So we'll finish by just doing a few hip stretches, more of a yin style. So hands under your shoulders and bring your right foot outside your right hand. Now, move your left knee as far back as you can. Again, without pushing, forcing, etc. So both hands are inside. Um, Annie, yes, good. Now from here, lengthen the spine, roll the shoulders back. Pull the belly in, tuck the tail under. On your next inhale, walk your hands a little further forward. On your next exhale, bend the elbows. So it can be just a little bend. You can use your blocks to support your elbows if they don't reach the floor, or bring the elbows on the floor. All time, try and keep your back free of curves, lengthening your lower back, your upper back, almost imagining you're going into a back bend here, hard forward. Great pose to open those hips.
and then from here on your next inhale coming up on your palms palms in line with your um, foot so bringing the left hand in the middle we're going to open the right arm towards the sky good now if you're finding that your hips are up try and sink them forward good next option bringing your back shin in and grabbing your ankle that's optional open the top shoulder lengthen the spine keep breathing line of breath here and slowly release release the hand now you're going to walk your right foot in so that it ends up being behind your left wrist right hand down preparing for pigeon release the front shin on the floor and you might need to walk the back knee further back good if you need uh, to use a block under your hip please do that especially if you're leaning a lot to the right good lengthen the spine here open the chest if you feel you're in too much pain and it's too intense bring the shin towards your groin if you want to go further into deeper into the stretch the shin towards the front mat the end of the mat and let's walk the hands forwards relax and the elbows maybe the entire arms if you can go all the way down let's bring the palms one on top of the other and release the forehead on the palms deep long breaths body noticing releasing abandoning any resistance against the stretch feel into the sensations and allow whatever is to be without judging labeling final couple of breaths slowly start to find your way back up Let's tuck the back toes under. Hands a little wider than your shoulders. Now lift the back knee off the floor, engage your core, start lifting the front foot and then bring it back into a downward facing dog. This is how we're going to transition this time. And from down dog, inhale, come on your tippy toes, look forwards and step your left foot outside of your right uh, left hand. Good, so left foot, both hands in one line. You can tuck the back toe and move the back knee to its limit, a little bit further to the back, and then inhale, lengthen both sides of the waist, open the shoulders, exhale, engage the core, and then on your next inhale, walk your hands forwards, and then start bending the elbows. Use your blocks, relax your elbows, whatever feels good. Stay in a position that is sufficiently comfortable for you to be able to take five deep breaths and pause. If there's too much pain, come out. 
a notch or two. Keep that back as long as you can. Keep that chest opening. Beautiful. Final breath. And then walk the hands back. So they're in line with the front foot. Moving the right hand in the middle. Turn the body to the left. And extend the left arm up. Again, lengthen the entire spine. Pull the belly and twist. An option to bring the back shin in. Think back bend. And continue to take long deep breaths. And full, complete exhalations. And slowly, on your next inhale, you're going to release that hand down. And then from here, bring the left arm outside of your left foot and start walking the left foot in so it ends up behind your right hand. Allow your hips to anchor down. And if need be, walk the back knee further back. Now take a moment here to square your hips. Use your block. Yeah, that's it. Adjust your shin. If the stretch is too deep, bring it in. If you want to go deeper, bring it out towards the front of your mat. And then slowly with your next exhale, come forwards. Try and keep your spine long either on your elbows you can stretch the arms or place the palms one on top of the other and relax the forehead and again start observing any sensations in your hips any tightness and resistance and see if you can let go release those muscles allow the blood and oxygen to flood these spaces this is the power of the breath Because with your mind, you can direct it in any part of the body. And where the um, intention goes, this is where the breath follows. Final couple of breaths. slowly, mindfully, find your way up, and let's uh, transition in a very gentle, loving way into uh, Shavasana. Once you're down there, first of all, let's give ourselves a little hug, a little time for self-love. You can bring the knees in or even simply bringing your arms around the chest, grabbing your shoulders, feeling the warmth of your own body. Reconnect with the earth beneath you.
relax the entire face. Relax the mind. Feel into that nurturing, loving energy. The support. The warmth. And then let's slowly bring the hands down on your belly, or maybe one on your belly, one on your chest. You can either have the legs stretched out or bent in towards you. And let's take final few rounds of deep, nurturing, yogic breaths. Inhaling into the belly, feeling the belly expanding and up towards your stomach, all the way to the chest and clavicle bones. Hold the breath at the top for a moment or two. And exhale, releasing the air from the chest, pushing it all the way down. Belly to the spine. Inhale, belly rising, and stomach and chest rising. Hold the breath at the top, notice. Exhale very slowly, smoothly. Contract the chest, then the stomach, then the lower belly. Three more in your own time. your round. Let go of any control of the breath. Release the arms by the side of the body. You can choose to release the legs down. And slowly start to come to your relaxation. Again, scanning the entire body for any signs of tension and releasing consciously, letting go.
So I'll leave you here to either continue your relaxation or if you feel ready to continue with your day and slowly come out and take a comfortable seat, wake up the body. So wherever you are, I wish you a great day. And hopefully you've managed to ground yourself a little bit more. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.